Inside this video right here, I'm going to show you how to put together your very first radio patch. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach. If you're watching this video right now and you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe tap that notification bell so you don't miss any one of these EMS educational videos. And finally, everyone watching, hit that like button. Somebody out there hit the like button for you. So return the favor, hit the like button for them. And let's dive into today's video about radio patching. We're talking about the radio patch. This is when we are alerting a hospital, in some cases, non-emergently. In other cases, we have a critical emergent patient. And I'll explain what that means. So depending on where you work, some hospitals, whether the patient comes in basic life support or they come in advanced life support or they come in on a critical you know, trauma alert, whatever alert the hospital may have, they're gonna say, we want EMS to always tell us what's coming in. There's hospitals like that. And it's based upon the hospital. Other hospitals say, if you're bringing in a stable advanced life support or a stable basic life support, like, you know, you're not going lights and sirens to the hospital, we don't need to know about it. Just show up, go to triage, and we'll figure it out in triage. This depends on the type of hospital. It's not a rule, but usually smaller community hospitals want to know what's coming in because they might say, oh, we don't want that, go somewhere else, meaning the patient's better served in a different hospital, where the bigger hospitals usually, again, not a rule, they'll say only call us when it's something critical because they have so much volume. Here's how we do a radio patch. Here are the key points. Number one is we have to let the, the hospital know who we are and what the age of the patient is, what the chief of the co complaint of the patient is, okay, what we've done for the patient, Okay, the vital signs of the patients, and then what's the ETA? And then the first piece on all that is, are there any critical alerts that we need to tell the hospital about? Going on from there, I'm gonna give you an example right here, right now, of a basic life support patch. This right here will be the basic life support patch. Here we go. EMS 1 to Community Hospital, I'm bringing you a 5'4", 54-year-old female patient. Chief complaint today is going to be abdominal pain. Now, the vital signs, blood pressure, 130 over 70. The heart rate comes back at 102. We have a blood glucose level at 90. Respirations are normal, non-labored at 14, and the SpO2 is at 99%. We will see you in about five minutes. Do you have any questions? That's a simple, right to the point, basic life support patch. I said the age of the patient. I said the complaint of the patient, the vital signs, right? We didn't really do, we do much of anything on the call for this patient besides vital signs, getting the history of the patient, transporting. So there was nothing that we did. So we just said, oh, we skipped that part. And then we moved into, well, five minutes out. Simple abdominal pain, nausea, vomit. Okay. So now let's move on to a critical patient. Here we go. This would be a, a paramedic level patient. Here we go. EMS 1 to City Hospital. I'm bringing you a 5'6", 56 year old male patient. This will be a STEMI alert. Activate the cath lab. Again, activate the cath lab. This patient has chest pain, shortness of breath, showing inferior wall MI on EKG with ST elevations. Again, activate the cath lab. The vital signs are as follows. We have a heart rate of 44. We have a blood pressure at this time of 80 over 40. The respirations right now, the patient is alert. Uh, respirations right now are about 22. SpO2 on a non-breather we have at 96% at this time. We are about 12 minutes out from your location, do you have any questions? There is an example patch of an ALS patch. Now, I always say the ETN, do you have any questions? Because let it's better, it's better to give the pertinent information and let them ask questions than you ramble on forever about every single thing, right? That's the most important with the radio patch. So now that you've mastered your radio patch, let's take care of everything else that you need to take care of. 
right? I'm not sure where you're at in your journey right now, whether it's EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, national registry prep, you want to get better at medications, you want to get better out on the road, you're getting ready for school, whatever it is, it's inside this video vault right here to get you to the next level. That's why I work so hard to create it. Now, just watch this video. The first link in the description, I'll give you a lifetime access to my video vault here. Over 400 videos plus access to our private group. My friends, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Please don't waste any time. Don't, don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's, it got me to where I was, where it's been a year without school from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions. Like, go for it. You could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a have to. You take uh, uh, thousands and thousands of pages in the books and you just narrow it down and just make everything simple to pass the registry. So. Uh, it's, it's, it's great content, man. I promise you, it's worth it. Took this with three weeks left to go in my class, and I just, I'm not sure if I would have been able to pass my course or the NREMT first try without this course. The fact, like, when I was taking the, the national, and I would read the question, and I, I would be like, whoa, Evan literally just went over this in the car. So it's, it really, it helps. I got to the point where I was just ready to spill all my knowledge onto this freaking test. So I'm like, you know what, man, just go ahead, go for it. Open it up, boom, congratulations, you passed. It was um, outside of having my children, man, it's probably the, more like the happiest day of my life, bro, to be honest with you.